Hi, and welcome back to Mrs. B's Simple Cooking. And if you really love potato salad and you want to take some to a family reunion or a holiday, why not make potato salad? All you have to do is take, I don't know, depending on your family size, uh, you have to estimate, but just a small family, four or five potatoes, six, um, boil them with the, rinse them off, boil them with the skins on. My brother Nikki taught me this trick. And I've been peeling potatoes for years. But he's worked at restaurants and he picked up a few things from the chefs. So what you do is you take the potato, you boil with the skin on it. When it starts to get soft, okay, then you let them cool off. And then you run them underneath water and it helps peel them much easier. And that way you don't have to sit there and take the skins and peel them one by one. So I already did all that to save some time for the video. Then you'll need a masher, and you're just gonna start smashing the potatoes, okay? Just get it in there good, just break it up. Break up those potatoes. Then your frustrations about the holidays, use it for the positive. Now, depending on how much you like it, smooth, chunky, that's entirely up to you. In my family, the way I was brought up with my mom, Jamie, uh, and Earl, my dad, because he's the one that really made the potato salad. She helped out, but he's just got that gift with it. So, gotta give people credit where credit is due, and that goes with everything in your life. All right, so then you're going to take just a couple spoons of mayonnaise. Oh, yeah, good and healthy for you, right? I'll stop there because it's you can't take away. You can give, but you can't take away. So. Mix it up, mix it up, fly a lid off. I splatter any on the camera, I'm sorry. Smash it up. And I'm doing it in the bowl that we're going to keep it in. That way I don't have to worry about extra dishes. Okay, I think I'm comfortable with that. Now I'll use a regular spoon to try to keep it chunky. Not too hard, right? So then we're going to take some mustard. And just have fun with it. Draw a picture while you're doing it. You know, enjoy the season. Shake it, shake it. Call it the mustard dance. Okay. You get hungry when you're cooking a big meal for your family. But you can do the tasting. But try to watch those calories until the very end. Enjoy it. Now said it before, I'll say it again. Moment on the lips, forever on the hips, so it better be worth it on my lips. All right, that's Mrs. B. I'm gonna add a little bit more mayonnaise, it's a little dry. Let me just go by the look of it, show you. Okay. Oh yeah. Now, no two people make something the same. So if it doesn't taste exactly like my dad's, it'd be pretty darn close. And that's why you need to go home and see your family members, you know, and, and enjoy and talk to them about the things they make, you know, just anything. 
spend some good quality time. Now, I'm using peppercorn pepper, but you can just use salt and pepper. Mustard. Excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up some more. Oh yeah. Okay, now I gotta I already have the lid off. I want to spill it. Alright, I need another spoon. And now I'm going to take sweet relish, which is just like sweet pickles, which is just already chopped up. The only difference is you don't get too much of the juice like you would want. And my mama, so you got to use the juice. So I'm just going to use some of that juice. I mean, the reason why I got the relish at the store, I'm just mix it up some more. Oh my goodness. See everybody? Ooh, smell it now. A little more mayonnaise. And whatever flavor mayonnaise you like. It's no big deal. Getting thicker, heavier to mix. Okay. Now, this is where I'm going to taste it. And then I'll get a new spoon. You have to taste it to see what you like and what you want in it more or what you want. You can't take it back, so you got to camouflage it. Oh, it's good though. Mm. Yes. Having a moment, guys. I've been up very late and up very early for the holidays. So, everybody who's cooking can relate to this. So, let's see. I think I'll add a little bit more mayonnaise just to make a little bit more moisture. But um it's pretty good. See it? I think this will be what's gonna do it. Keep it even. I'm going to break up some more big pieces. I noticed they're in there. Got to do everything with love for it to turn out. And this is something you can make the day before, but I got most everything done the night before. I figure I saved my energy for this stuff today. And clean up as you go. The kitchen makes life a lot easier. And buy yourself some cute decorative plates that are disposable and a tablecloth. And you can get it from Walmart, Dollar Tree, whatever. And um, that way the mess up is, you're going to be tired if you're making a big meal. So make it easy on you. Now you gotta have to appreciate those people that 
volunteer in the kitchen, like in Knoxville, we have the Love Kitchen, and, you know, these ladies cooked and cooked, they were twins, and they cooked for so many homeless people, and, you know, imagine, ooh, <laughs> bloopers doing this, and, um, you're waiting for one, aren't you, uh, doing this, and it's for so many. I'm using the side of it in some places and then smashing in some. Okay. You can smell the relish. One sweet. Okay, now I'm just tempted to add some more. Oh, more juices there. That will give me more. Okay. It's still very simple. It's just a little time consuming to smash it. I won't add any more soon. Use this one last time. Make sure it's mixed up good. Okay. Oh yeah. It's almost like home's right here. All right. And those that know me know what that means. You know, you grow up and you have to move out of your parents' home. Or whatever the case. And you try to make a life for yourself somewhere else. And it's moments like this that just makes you appreciate and be thankful for what they've taught you. So, Mom and Dad, thank you. Nikki, thank you. Aunt Dixie, thank you. Shirley, thank you. Thank you, um, and I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Enjoy your potato salad. It is done. And Uncle Richard, love you all.